Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Keep your guard up through the night tonight, an unusually late Strong sphere thunderstorm threat is with us as we head through the night tonight as an intense line of thunderstorms is going to move across the valley through the next few hours. All is quiet still. We are looking off to the northwest on our Harrisburg Skycam was looking to see if we could see any lightning in the distance right now. Still incredibly warm and incredibly humid out there, so we definitely have the moisture at hand for these strong sphere thunderstorms. There is a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for Cumberland County and points off to the west and northwest until 3 a.m. But I do believe all of the Susquehanna Valley has the opportunity for heavy rain and possibly storms that cause some uh, damaging and uh, produces some damaging uh, winds with this brings down some tree limbs or possibly causes some power outages low threat for some hail. But if we can see some Boeing uh, segments within this line of thunderstorms as it crosses the valley, a brief spin up tornado is not out of the question. Highest threat for severe weather is along and to the north of the turnpike, especially as you get closer towards State College, and that's where we find the line right now. It is a fast moving line. It's moving off to the east and ever so slightly to the southeast. But notice this intense heavy rain extending all the way from State College back towards Pittsburgh. This is going to move into the valley during the next couple of hours. The good news is I do expect it to weaken, but it's going to stay with us and I do expect it continues to remain robust as it moves over the valley with some heavy downpours. Also could see some passing showers and thunderstorms as we head through tomorrow afternoon before the cold front of the storm system moves on by. So keep your guard up, possibly severe thunderstorms, tropical downpours, warm and muggy out there. It is an impact night with temperatures holding in the low to mid 70s. This all should be out here by about 6 a.m. But we're going to keep that humidity around, so it's going to be sultry to start our Friday. And then pop up showers and thunder showers will be around during the early afternoon through early evening hours as the cold front from the storm system moves on by. But it's still going to be warm with highs up near 90 degrees. One good thing about the incoming rain, it's going to wash out a lot of pollen out of the air. The pollen count will be low. Air quality will be at a moderate level. UV index will remain high. Made it to 88 for our high today. No rain yet, and we've been relatively wet this July. July. We are running more than an inch above average for Harrisburg International Airport, so that incoming rain that could be anywhere from half an inch to possibly three quarters to an inch of rain later tonight could cause that uh, localized flash flooding. Still 82 at this hour in Carlisle, 76 if you're watching us in Ephrata, but the rain has cooled things down up along Lake Erie. In Erie, it's just 63 degrees, and notice the dew points lowering back towards Erie. So let's take it hour by hour here. Here comes that line, squall line possibly, as it enters our western counties. I think it's going to be over the center, the heart of the Susquehanna Valley between 2 and 4 o'clock. And then after 4 o'clock, the line of thunderstorms starts pushing off to the east and we start drying back out. But we're still on the south side of the storm's cold front. So it's still going to be a muggy day tomorrow. This front moves on by during the early evening hours. It could spark a passing shower and thunder shower. Finally, Finally, a break from that high heat and humidity and we stay dry for the weekend and it's going to be comfortable. Possibly one of the nicest weekends we have seen so far this summer with temperatures holding in the mid to upper 80s with uh, at least feeling comfortable through Sunday afternoon, but it doesn't last long. Notice we're back up to near 90 degrees with increasing humidity and thunderstorm chances by Monday and that will continue on into Tuesday as well.